With the introduction of Intel's new X299 platform and my recent upgrade featuring it, I began having questions about whether or not overclocking my RAM was worth it. At this point, it is well known that Intel's mainstream Skylake and Kaby Lake processors do not benefit much from a higher memory speeds, which has been Intel's trend for some time now. It wasn't until AMD's Ryzen hit the scene that memory speed became a consumer concern again. Unlike Intel's mainstream, the AMD Ryzen CPU's performance can be significantly impacted by the higher memory speeds and tighter timings. All of this, coupled with the changes for X299 like an inclusion of a mesh architecture versus a traditional ring bus for intercore communication, led me to question whether or not my own memory speed was holding me back. There were two important things I cared about when running my benchmarks. Did the raw performance match my overclock, aka was the overclock successful, and did the increase in speed cause an increase in performance on things I use my PC for daily? I used the memory benchmark built into IDA64 in order to test the validity of my overclock. I tested three speeds, 2133, or the default speed of DDR4 on X299, 2666, the rated speed of my 32GB quad channel kit, and 3000MHz, a safe overclock I knew I could hit reliably. As you can see, the performance scaled close to linearly as we went up in speed. This showed our overclock was successful. I then ran some creative and gaming benchmarks to represent my real world use. Normally this is the part of the video where I'd be showing you graphs of the benchmark results from my run. The issue was, they were almost identical at every speed, to the point where there was no difference in order for me to even graph. The bars would just be the same. I ran UniEngine Superposition Benchmark, Blender, Cinebench, a Premiere Render and GTA 5, and every single time, all three of the speeds that I tested gave me almost identical results. So in conclusion, I don't believe high-speed memory matters for X299, at least not for me. The only time I would recommend high-speed memory is if you were using a program that was specifically needed high-speed memory, but if you were, I don't know why you'd be watching this video in the first place. So remember kids, if someone asks if memory speed matters for games and content creation on X299, the simple answer is no.